One has heard from a Chicago woman who took a trip to Japan. Candace Skipper's family is trying to figure out what happened. Eric Rung is here with what we've learned. Eric? Well, good morning. Her family has taken steps to report her missing and has been in contact with the U.S. Embassy in Japan, but it's hit a roadblock with police in Tokyo. Candace Skipper's family had gotten used to seeing her smiling face as she traveled through Japan on a month-long trip that began at the Tokyo airport back in May. Every single day, Okay. She had been communicating with family and friends and, I mean, texts, phone calls, pictures, updates, um, you know, Instagram posts, all that. And then it all just literally abruptly ended on June 4th. We spoke to Candace's brother-in-law yesterday. He says the last clue they have to her whereabouts is a credit card transaction from Shibuya City. It's about a 20-minute drive southwest of Tokyo. She was also traveling uh, with a young man by the name of Luis Torres. Uh, he's 27 years old, and we actually haven't been able to contact him either. Candace's family has filed a missing persons report with CPD, contacted the U.S. Embassy and Tokyo Metro Police, who we are told won't start a missing persons report unless she misses her flight home. We're here stateside. There, there's literally nothing we can do. And so this helpless feeling of not knowing, is she in a hospital? Is she being held somewhere, you know, against her will? Is she hurt? Is she, I mean, we, there's nothing we can even do because it's in Tokyo, Japan, right? And so we, we need feet on the ground over there. Now, family members say her phone has been turned off. They are also making plans to get to Japan to search for her.